than what was actually on the pipe. So we'll see how that goes for the, for the rest of the winding. So I stopped it at about 1,100 turns, about halfway through, and a little more than halfway, and that's so I could move the shaft from the left side over to the right side, and so it, so the uh, the guide mechanism can continue on along the whole length. And as far as the countering is concerned, I've noticed that it's it's been working just fine. I made an adjustment earlier to the switch, moving it a little bit closer to the pipe so that the make it more sensitive to rubber bumper as it moves along. I just think, you know, it's an old, really old counter and it just, maybe the, the pipe is moving too fast for it. If the bumper was a little longer, of course, then that would give more time for the solenoid inside to uh, activate, the, to increment the number more reliably, but it's been working pretty good so far. Let's see how it does on 200. just barely. Yeah, I think it's going a little too fast. I should either decrease the speed or increase the length of the bumper, uh, but otherwise everything else is working great. Okay, we're in the home stretch now and uh, you can see I've used up quite a bit of wire on that spool. And it's been chugging along just fine and dandy. Coming down to here. Look at that. We're almost done. We got um, set fourth. I started at 2,000, so this is gonna. This is actually 2,084, 85 turns. Just a few more. There we go. 2,088 turns of 30 gauge wire on a four and a half inch outside diameter PVC pipe. Um, the wire itself is three quarter of a kilometer long for a resonant for a for a quarter wavelength frequency of of 100,000 hertz. And uh, I gotta say, this thing worked very well. There is not a single imperfection anywhere on this wire all along here. Not a single gap or crossover. I'm really surprised. I had to watch the counter just to make sure that was working, but that's no big deal. Um, this thing worked very well. I really like how it worked. You can see it. It's been pushing up against the pipe like that just fine. The motor itself is really kind of warm probably operating at the limit of its mechanical load. It's only rated for 1 70th of a horsepower. But yeah, I mean, it was worth the effort to make this thing. It wasn't easy. There was a lot of trial and error with bending this, the aluminum pieces here to try to get the plastic in just the right position and orientation. You can see I got most of the force here on this end, uh, so it's up against the wire. and. Um, and also curved over about one one or two degrees in this direction so that the force, most of the force is applied up here on top rather than on the bottom where the wire first meets the PVC pipe. But you know, yeah, I would definitely use this again if I was, if I use the same size pipe. If not, then I'll just have to find a different piece of plastic to run up against it. But anyway, all I gotta do is just attach the uh, against the wire to the end terminals and put a few coats of polyurethane on there and I'll have myself a new secondary coil for my Tesla coil. Thanks for watching. By the way, I forgot to mention, here's, here's a look at the coil that I made two years ago. Now this was much harder to, the, the process itself of making it was much harder. Here's the specs you can see, but um, it's got American wire gauge 22, you know, much thicker than the 30 gauge I've been using on this guy here. Uh, but, and it's 
it's only got what uh, 888 turns rather than 2,000 turns um, but the difference is I wound this one by hand I and mean, I had it on the in the winding machine just with the motor a different motor running at 6 rpm um, and it took me a good three or four hours just sitting there and, and uh, guiding the wire by hand and that was difficult enough with 22 gauge imagine imagine 2,000 turns of 30 gauge I'd, I'd be here all day and I'd still be going crazy um, so it was definitely worth the the two days of build time just to make this little mechanism here and everything else to support it and uh, this is a much better motor to use too because it was going at 16 rpm rather than the 6 that I used for that one. All in all this was really good.